fundamental aspect of writing VBA code is knowing how to reference individual cells and data ranges. There are two main ways to reference cells or a set of cells through VBA code. The first is through using the cells property. In a blank subprocedure, as soon as we type cells, followed by an open bracket, we are prompted to enter a row index and a column index. Thankfully, VBA is very intuitive in this sense, where it's basically asking us to provide the row number and the column number of the cell we are looking to reference. So let's assume we want to reference cell B5. We know this cell is located in the fifth row and the second column. So let's enter a 5 for the row index, and then let's enter a 2 for the column index. We can then assign an arbitrary value of 10 to the cell for demonstration purposes. When we run the macro, we see the number 10 appear in cell B5, as expected. The second way to achieve this is through using the range property. Similar to the cells property, as soon as we type range, followed by an open bracket, we are prompted to enter a cell reference. Here, we can type the cell that we want to reference directly, or in this case, cell D5. Again, let's assign an arbitrary value of 20 to this cell for demonstration purposes and then run the macro. We can also use the range property to reference multiple cells at once. We can do so by entering a colon between two cell references, which in essence captures the entire range of cells that we are looking to reference. Here we see all cells between F1 and G5 are all populated with the same arbitrary value as expected.